Hi everyone, I'm Charlotte Strong with Strong Art Creations. I'm going to be pouring on this little strainer today. This little um, can strainer. I picked up a couple of these at the dollar store. I've had these hanging around for a really long time with the intention of doing a pour through them and I haven't gotten around to it so today I have decided I'm gonna do a pour and this is a little medicine cup that I have been using uh, for paint mixing resin mixing uh, these are great for small mixes and when the the paint dries when the resin dries you can also peel it out so I'm going to turn that upside down because when that's sitting on the canvas there's a spot right in the middle that the paint is not going to spread out. I thought about turning it upside down but that would give a different pour. So I'm going to put this on top so the paint can run down. And then this is a 12 by 12 canvas and I have it on a um, 14 by 14 canvas and I'm just going to let the paint run off and onto the bigger canvas. It may make a huge mess, we'll see. But I'm just going to let it run off and see what happens so that I can get the best effect possible. And then I have some really thinly mixed up red paint that I'm going to prime the canvas with. You can see that's almost like water, it's so thin. One of the groups that I'm on, someone was asking about this product called XIM Paint Extender. And I remembered that I had bought some a while back and mixed it up. And this is a bottle of that that I had mixed up. It really is like water. I mean, a teaspoon of the stuff in your paint mix makes it really thin. It does provide really great cells. Uh, we'll see what happens today. Since I'm only using it to prime the canvas, I'm curious to know what will happen really going to be acting as a color wash but also just to give some fluid on the canvas so that it can get the paint moving. All right, let me get it centered up. And since I have another canvas for the paint to run off on, I'm going to go ahead and use the whole cup.
I'm going to try to keep that shape as much as possible. But I do need to get some of the paint off the canvas. little bit of something there, dried flow chawl, something. Let's see what we can do with this one. The trick is going to be to get the paint flowing there in the middle. Let me try to get some moisture there to get it flowing.
This was really fun. I will definitely be using the can strainer again. Love the color. I might use it with silicone oil next time and see how it turns out. I just love the way it landed on the canvas. I love the way it turned out. And this is painting number two. Sometimes I overwork the paint. Maybe it looks like flowers on the canvas. I don't know. I'll see what it looks like when it dries and make up my mind. I can always pour over it. Here they are dry. The paint separated in a couple of places. But I actually like the effect that it gave. If I use more pouring medium and less Floetrol, that separation is less likely to happen. So I think I'll do another pour and use a mix where I add more pouring medium. Using this technique because I love the effects that it gives. And I think I will pour over the larger canvas doing that because I don't like the second canvas. I will show that to you in a moment. I really like that spot right there. But I love the colors here. So I'm going to do this pour again, adding more pouring medium to my mix, and see what happens. Here is the larger canvas. I overworked it, and it's mostly just blue, and I don't like it. So I'm going to pour over it. And I'll use the same technique using the K 
can strainer and a little medicine cup for the pour. So stay tuned for the next pour, which will be a pour over of this large canvas. Please hit the like button. Also, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.